Hey there, everyone. This is Alcalbling Super Sammy Roll, and you know what? So I've heard what you had to say, audience. Yeah, like a full playthrough of Vera's Quest is probably not worth it, but you know, it's true. Maybe we do just want to see what she's about. So how about this? Before we truly start the Star World Crunch, automatically from time to time, occasionally it saves. Uh, how about we make this? The Vera's Quest one-shot. What are you up to, Vera? Well, you say hi. Yeah, you do not have to- Oh, you still roll, in spite of being a squirrel. Oh, but Chew instead did that. So if we go here... Chew is Glide. Whoa. Yeah, your intro level is completely different. Like, just out of necessity. And there we go! Poofing everywhere! And you're not hitching or you're just staying there. Vera, you're missing your lift. I forgot how the first world map looks like. So yeah, I didn't get the thing. But that's fine. My goal is just kind of get a sense of who is Vera, you know? Yeah, I remember this all is the first real level. There's ramps. Unbelievable. You're squeaky, you wear you wear uh Flower, yeah. That's the camera fun. Look at how you can zoom through this level if you don't try to get the fruit. It's pretty easy, it turns out. Then you do a flip and you stay. You're not hitching a ride, that bothers me. You don't have a letter grade? Rank nothing. Interesting, okay. Green Garden Heights. Yeah, it's the first level that tricked me about how to get the spaghetti. How to get a fruit, remember? It turns out it was hidden in a tree all this time. Boy, was my face on fire. Yeah, you bum these, get a prize. You're like, whatever, buddy. So you press the button, you cancel the glide. You press the button, you cancel the glide. And there's like little petals following her everywhere. So, my guess is that they did not put individual times for Vera. I, I, I get it. Like, that would be like doubling down on their work here. But yeah, so the first level was a little bit different because it was intro to the concept of gliding. But now that we're here, that we're in the real level, it's it's Vera. A little square where she goes, hey, it's like, uh, hey, hi, how's it going? And then coins appear, it's pretty wild. So then you do this, and then you... Okay, oh, you gotta hold it. Okay, got it. So I thought it was tap and then tap to remove, but that was just happy timing due to how not long I was gliding. In reality, yeah, it's hold to glide. Okay. So I feel like the reason why you play as Vera then is like you kind of want to find shortcuts, like to play the old levels, but like, you know, more without. Playing them as little as possible, but you know, it's. Yeah. But a lot of the levels, they climbed upward. So I can't help but notice that I didn't see any eggs, but honestly, like, I don't really remember these levels all that well. I just don't, buddy. Here's a Vera doing flips in front of an owl. Let's go! Near's big is come out. Yeah, I remember that. It's a temple where there's turtles. Introduction to the concept of turtles using ninja powers. Truly an unbelievable concept. I don't know, I feel like I'm starting already to get this. This is what Vera is. I might slip in back to Sammy. It's a little mirrored. Ooh, whoops, about my head. I, I was like, oh, I didn't realize the platform was over me. But no, yeah, this level I remember well enough that I think that this is mirrored. Yeah, it totally is. Okay, that's fun. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are gonna uppercut me if I give you a chance. So I'm gonna try not to. Whoa, shoot. Um, you have a bounce? You still have a bounce? Okay. Where am I going? Oh. Uh. Uh, okay. See, the fact that they removed... Hmm. 
But they remove eggs. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, yeah, so it is going to be a little harder on in that sense. Well, also, it doesn't help that I'm apparently just not getting any money at all ever. When I just, you know, got bop in terms of money. <laughs> you know, a thing that I know exactly what I can do to fix my problems. Alright, and then here's a ledge. So, yeah. Slight. Oh no, yeah, you can see the owl Zed is flipped around. He's sleeping backwards. That's a thing owls are known for doing. They love doing that. Rising repeat. 1 6. Oh, tide level. Except this one can't be that bad. It's the first one, but I forgot there were tide levels so early on in the game. Alright, well, here we go. Except this time, you got glide power, so you can go like, whatever, buddy. And then you can kind of like bounce around here a little bit, it's pretty good. Then you can avoid all the coins, it's very important. And then you just kind of fly until you reach somewhere and you fall goodbye. I think it's because I touched the ground. If I remember the level, I'm pretty sure like there's like a huge skip I could do or something somewhere. Like that is, you know, like you just kind of like go where the owl is. Uh, without, like, doing all of the level stuff. Like, that is absolutely a thing. But I don't remember quite enough. But yeah, this is absolutely mirrored. Secret mirror mode. Whoa, 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 why did everything go bad? What? Wait, this is gonna go down. Alright, well I can... Yeah, no. I don't want to play this level. <laughs> I just, I don't want to play... Those dang levels, those dang darn gosh tide levels are never good, but... Okay.